CJ. I am a senior lecturer in the Department of Family Medicine uh, in the School of Medicine at Makere University. And I was the principal investigator on this project uh, that was looking at the availability, access, functionality of blood pressure machines within uh, government facility, lower level facilities within the Tororo district. We came to think about this project because we know that um, non-communicable diseases are actually increasing all over the world. And uh, the commonest are the, the, those diseases which are related to the heart or heart problems. All over the world, one of, out of every three people, people who die actually die of non-communicable diseases. And we know that one of the things that we can change uh, in trying to deal with the non-communicable diseases is actually controlling high blood pressure. But in order to make sure that we actually change that outcome, then we need to be able to diagnose uh, this early and properly uh, this problem of hypertension. It is a basic requirement that whoever comes to the health facility should have his or her blood pressure taken. Unfortunately, this requires one that requires the facility to have blood pressure machines at every point of care for that to happen. And that is why we actually came out to find out whether the blood pressure machines are available within these public facilities. And if they are available, whether they are functioning, and if they are, if they are available and functioning, whether they are available at every point of care. And that is how we came up with this project that was trying to establish the availability, access and the functionality of these blood pressure machines at points of care within the public health facilities. And I participated in this research as a, a research assistant in the data collection, of which we did it in 18 health facilities which are spread across the district, uh, ranging from health centre to, to the district hospital. In the process of data collection, there were two aspects involved. The questionnaire was structured in a manner that uh, the first aspect was looking at uh, the availability of the blood pressure machines, and it was in form of a checklist. And in that checklist, there was a guiding uh, structured questionnaire that we were following, which we applied across uh, the, the, the administrative level. We had to inquire about it. Then also at the service point where services were being provided. Then the second part of the questionnaire was now involving interviewing the health worker, capturing the information about the health worker, then also asking about the structured features of the questionnaire which was involving uh, BP machine uh, availability in the facilities. Finally now we summarize with now the district hospital. After traversing the different health facilities we now fin finalizing the district hospital and that is what brought us where we are now. From the study we actually concluded that yes at facility level blood pressure machines are available. At the points of care, these machines are not available. And, and therefore, when we want to understand availability of blood pressure machines, we should actually understand it from the point of access at the point of care, not at the facility level. And then patients, the, the measurement of blood pressure is not for every patient. So health providers struggle to measure the blood pressure if they think that the person is at high risk or if they think that the person has another disease that is related to having high blood pressure. We have three departments here which need this machine. We have OPD, we have maternity and we have ward. And sometimes even theater they may need because see, the patients who are being operated need to be monitored. And these patients are monitored until they stabilize, especially the ones who have done operation. So at the end of the day, it hinders our work in a way that some patients may not get a service at the right time. You need to serve 70 patients at a day. One, first of all, you have begun looking for the machine. And you have kept these patients waiting, others, because of one patient. That one gives us a challenge. And the patient, the time of living here, it delays the patient. That is what happens. The, the, the stakeholders should 
should work towards having a blood pressure machine at every point of care if we are to measure blood pressure for every patient according to the recommendations of the World Health Organization. And hopefully if that one is done, uh, we will be able also to capture those people who are having high blood pressure but who have no symptoms and are not yet diagnosed.